Hello and thank you for watching my channel Solo Octum. Today I am installing Windows Server 2016 R2 standard. So just click on the virtual box and start and we have to create new machine. So just click new and just give the name. Server 2016. Click next. It's asked for the recommended size of the RAM. So it's 2 GB. So just click next. Create a virtual hard drive. Create and the virtual disk image. Next and here you have to choose the folder so i have the place where i want to save this folder so i go here i just create one folder on my f disk so here i have the 2016 click save create and after restart the machine so and after this is select the startup disk so just click here where is the OS so I have on my download side so just start and after is run the files it's loading the files and after it's loading the files so we can add the installation so say United States English click yes install now setup is starting and after starting is take almost 20 minutes so and it's asked for the, the license number so product key so I have the product key so so after I enter the, the product key and it's asked for server standard standard desktop experience so just click on that click next accept the license and terms conditions so accept it says windows is all clean so just so zero so just next and start the installation is a start so it's copying the file getting file ready is faster Installing features and installing updates and finish up so So installation is almost 81% complete So it's take maybe few minutes. So it's almost done 100% so after installing features updates and finishing up so this is the three steps left after the file done hundred percent so installation is complete hundred percent installing features and installing updates and then after finishing up the setup so all complete in a, this two left so it should be complete in a few seconds or minutes it depends on how long it takes so installing updates is finished now and finishing up the setup so after I restart the PC one more time and then so it's finishing up so wait for a minute or two so it should be run everything and restarting the PC after restart and it's putting first time is restarting now so it's take few times to upload the files and 
and is getting ready the device so I'm waiting for is done everything so first time set up the password for logging the server so this will be done soon so I'm just waiting and it's done hundred percent getting ready so So just inst installation take little time, but I just cut the time and waiting for the downloading the files and wait for updating the things. So I'm just and restart again and after so reboot. So wait for here. So first time login is should be ready. So is first time logging the screen here so I have to set the password first time login so one so password one so I just make sure every password is correct and here to finish and this is the final the last step so we are logging to server now so here is the screen and we are on the windows server 2016 right now and we have to press control alt or delete to unlock the screen so this is a virtual machine so I use this feature so let's bring the screen so I can put my password to login Power one click next and is setting the user profile for first time so it's take maybe uh, 30 seconds around one minute so it should be done and we are on the Windows Server 2016 standard and here is the screen for Windows Server 2016 and here is the startup but it's loading the full screen so yes so here when you click start and here you can see administrative windows administrative tools here here is the server manager is a start just right on the back is a windows powershell and here is the server manager start so it's take a little time to start so it's loading the features so basically we install windows server 2016 uh, it's loading the feature right now so server manager starts you can see add role features add another another server to the manage create a server group so everything looks perfect is everything is screen right now and this is the basically our local server first if like to make to domain 
in my next video 2016 I make domain controller and the DSCP server add to this change the computer name so this is a basic installation of Windows Server 2016 and here is the thing you can close the from here for this window pop up all the time so you can close or you can go all the time here like a startup here you have a click start and it shows here the server manager and there is the all thing here and Windows administrative tool just click on that so so it's loading now so and the, this is a remote desktop so you can connect to the any computer as on the server like if you have the user and group after the domain controller so you can add the user and computers to this network so here is the administrative tools here you can see here component services computer management and the def defragments here disk cleanup all is here but there is no active directory yet because this is only just a Windows server when we make a domain and then there is active directory and we can use add, uh, add user and computers through this but there is also remote service on right now here everything is here so you can see here so this is a solution of Windows Server 2016 and if you like my channel please like and subscribe if you have any comments just please write in the comment box i will answer your questions and please like and subscribe my channel thank you